In this video, we're going to talk about how to perform a hypothesis test with a single variance given a chi-square distribution. So in this problem, the standard deviation of exam scores in the math department of a local college is 8.6. A professor believes this value to be less. He samples 20 exam scores and find that the standard deviation is 6.9. Does this sample provide enough evidence to suggest that the true standard deviation is less than 8.6? Let's use a significance level of 5% or 0 0.05. So let's write down what we know. So the standard deviation, the hypothesized standard deviation is 8.6, which means the hypothesized variance is 8.6 squared. The sample standard deviation is 6.9, which means the sample variance is 6.9 squared. The sample size is 20. And the degrees of freedom is n minus 1, which is 20 minus 1, so that's going to be 19. The next thing we need to do is write the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. So for the null hypothesis, we could say that the variance is believed to be 8.6 squared. For the alternative hypothesis, we believe, or the professor believes the variance to be less than 8.6 squared, based on what was stated here. Now we need to determine what type of test we have. If it's a left tail test, a right tail test, or a two tail test, what would you say? So looking at the alternative hypothesis, because the professor believes the value to be less, this is going to be a left tail test. So let's draw the chi-square distribution for that. So it's going to look something like this, but the area that's going to be shaded will be to the left. So this area is going to be our alpha value. So the area of the shaded region is going to be 0 0.05. The area of the non-shaded region or the area to the right of our critical chi-square value, that's going to be 1 minus 0 0.05, which is 0 0.95. So this here, the small area, that's going to be the rejection region. Now, if our calculated chi-square value falls in this area, we are not going to reject the null hypothesis. But if it's less than the critical value, highlighted in red, we are going to reject the null hypothesis. So let's find our critical value. So we have 19 degrees of freedom with an area to the right of 0.95. So here we have the chi-square distribution table, and we said that we have 19 degrees of freedom, and the area to the right of the critical value is 0.95. So this is the intersecting value. So our critical chi-square value is 10.117. So let's go ahead and put that number on the graph. Now our next step is to find our calculated chi-square value based on our sample. And here's the formula that we're going to use to get that answer. So it's equal to n minus 1 times the sample variance divided by the population variance. And we're going to use the hypothesized population variance. So n minus 1, that's 20 minus 1 times s squared, which is 6.9 squared, over sigma squared, which is 8.6 squared. 19 times 6.9 squared divided by 8.6 squared gives us 12.23. So 12.23 is somewhere to the right of 10.117. So therefore, we will not reject the null hypothesis because it's in this region, which is the do not reject the null hypothesis region. So therefore, we could say that this sample does not provide enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. 
since our calculated chi-square value exceeds our critical chi-square value given that we have a left tail test.